Morning everybody, it's Phil here from Telford Koi Pond on uh, bright and early on a Sunday morning. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick walk through of where we got to with the filter build yesterday. Unfortunately we filmed, well I was going to say hours but that's a slight exaggeration, we filmed loads and loads of clips, loads of videos, loads of bits and pieces as we were going through the filter bit, uh, for the filter build and then uh, one of the phones we were using we left out in full sun while we were listening to the radio on it and it overheated and we've lost all those videos so we've only got a few clips from what was on the other phone so we're just doing this as a bit of a catch up this morning so you can see where we've got to today all right cheers so hopefully this is just a shot for posterity as it were a shot for the record this is the last time hopefully we're going to see the uh the garage in this state with the uh drum filter there at the front of the garage We've got the fish there, still doing well in the quarantine tank, but uh, definitely outgrowing it. Got the individual unit there. Got boxes and boxes of koi fittings all over the place. Got them all packed up down there, stacked up, sorry. And then that bag is the uh, the bag that you saw me dry fitting all the uh, pipes and bowls and bits and pieces the other day. So first job of the day is to go and sweep the uh, filter house out. And then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fit those properly. So I'll uh, pop everything outside, and I'll join you in a bit. Okay, so it's bright and early. Got all the tools out, ready, laid out, ready to go. Might bring me an electric saw down in a minute if I need to uh, do a bit more cutting than I thought. Everything's still stood up from yesterday. Pond's cured overnight. Again, bits and pieces already. Just swept out the filter bait, still dirty, but uh, obviously I'm only working on the wall at the moment, putting all that, uh, those fittings up there that you saw me dry fit the other week. And that's the box of goodies, so that's the jigsaw that is the uh, plumbing for here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna crack on with that for a bit, and then I'll um, do a catch up in a bit later. So uh, see you later. So welcome to the glorious British summertime. Cracking on with the, uh, the filters. So we've got the filters actually into the filter bay at the moment, which is a which is a real bonus. Um, and then it started raining, so I'll show you the plumbing afterwards. Some of it is hard plumbed in, now it's glued in. So I'm just getting the bottom drain, uh, four inch ball valve, and couplings down here to, to then start connecting it up to the filters. So. Uh, yeah, I'm really waiting for the rain to stop because I need to source some more, uh, source some more pipe. But anyway, we we'll make the best of what we've got. So things moving along. Um, won't film everything I'm doing, but as you can see, you can see it's <laughs> got everything out at the minute. So I'll catch you, I'll catch up with you in a minute, and I'll show you where I've got to. Cheers. So you've all seen the filter bay before. What you haven't seen is the filter bay with the filters in place. So we finally got round to bringing them out. Um, there'll be some clips on the front of this where you saw the state of the garage it was just we couldn't get another thing in there and then the little trolley I made was an absolute godsend for wheeling it all around the house and through the side of the house when we took uh, took the panels out so this is it this is the filter house so if you want to have a quick look so big access in case we ever need to uh, get the filters out but if we start down this end so so if we start down this end, uh, we've got the drain to waste here. So all this is, is loose at the minute, but all this is fixed in. So we've got the main four inch drain coming up out to the bottom of the pond. Put that on the T. So I've got a rodding point if I need to um, if I need to rod the drain, because I just haven't got enough room in there to do another ball valve and everything with, with how we've had to do this. But obviously it's got a four inch ball valve on the main feed. There's an overflow in here with an adjuster inside so I can move the level of the water that's that's for the trickle in trickle out so that goes straight into waste so as I say I've got the main four inch bore going into the primary um, filter there coming out the wall there is the two inch line for the skimmer so I'm not sure you'll see that but out to the side of the wall comes around the back very good comes, comes around the back 
uh, by the side of the four inch and up again through another ball valve into um, into the filter. Um, gone way overboard with all these fittings and couplings as you would uh, no doubt expect me to do but to be honest with you I bought them uh, when I had other plans and um, I just had them lying around so I thought I might as well use them basically. So that's all the feed into the filter. I'll lift the covers off in a minute so you can see the filter. Um, but then there's only one feed out of the filter at the minute and that's uh, that's this one here. So you would have seen me dry fitting all the um, pipes the other day. So we've just got a pipe out of here to a ball valve. I don't remember which way it goes. To a ball valve, that tees off then which will go to the air source heater and hopefully that will be arriving uh, this week coming. And then from the air source heater there'll just be one pipe going out you can probably just about see the pipe turn to the back of the pond and then i don't know whether you'll be able to stretch over there claire but if you, if you can if you can just stretch over there you can just see uh, all the other pipe work which is all the stuff that you saw me dry fitting the other day so again the top line uh, is a venturi if you want a venturi into the pond the bottom line is just a normal feed into the pond so i can either have one open or both open but we'll see how it goes and that's uh, that's it. I mean, I can't bring myself to take the cover off this, this filter yet. <laughs> so obviously, if you have a look inside, um, again, you will have seen it on previous videos. But it's all there, ready to go. The pump's installed. Uh, the connection for the uh, for the pump controllers in there. UV's all set up. You know, it's uh, it's a good bit of kit. And again, if I just show you this one. Now. Again, you've got the uh, the, fil the four inch bottom feed going into the drum. The drum obviously does all the cleaning into the moving bed chamber. Uh, must start the moving bed in PP this week, uh, and then from there into the individual module, which is obviously just the big uh, pump tank. And obviously, I can put some zeolite or oyster shells or any other treatments I want in there. And uh, yeah, that's where we are, basically. So we're all plumbed up. We're all plumbed up and, uh, and ready to go. And so I'm just waiting for the air sort heat pump to come. Hopefully it, it will be this week. If it does, then I'll get that plumbed in uh, at the weekend. You saw the other day in another video all the electrics are in. Uh, loving these. I've played with each of them in turn. Make sure they all work and they're absolutely spot on. Uh, as I say, if the XP pump comes, my, my job next weekend will literally be plumbing that T into the back of the heater. I'm going to do my lot bypass valves today, ready for it to come. And then that just connected one pipe into that mid water return you can see at the back. And then it's a case of filling it up with water and turning everything on. So that's the big plan for next week. I think that's, that's about it. Just want to say an absolutely massive thank you to uh, to everybody that's followed and been watching and all the subscribers and um, smash the 1000 subscribers which is absolutely superb i really appreciate that and i will be doing a competition um, i just want to get all this done out the way finished uh, and hopefully by next weekend it'll all be up and running and then I can, I can sort out some serious prizes to give away for uh, you know for your for your patience and your support which is really appreciated so again i'm going to leave it there Thank you very much, been a pleasure. Um, see you next time, cheers. So we'll do about the rest of the country, but we've got very heavy rain forecast this afternoon. Um, so because the fiberglass is quite fresh and because of all the issues we had with groundwater in the build, um, the, the uh, fiberglass guys have advised us to put a couple of foot of water in the bottom of the pond to keep it pressed down. So just put the house pipe in the pond. And let's see how long it takes to, uh, to fill up.